I don't know what kind of puns I can do with absent landlord. But I mean, if your landlord's gone, you can throw one hell of a party, right? Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mick Brewski, for another Ruski Brewski review. And today, the beer I have for you is by the Cowbell Brewing Company out of Blythe, Ontario. And today, we are drinking their Absent Landlord Country Kolsch. Country? Yeah, Country Kolsch. Thought I read County, but it's Country Kolsch. Coming in at 5.3% alcohol by volume and only 18 IBUs. Also, an SRM of 5.5. So without further ado, let's pour this up, looking at it before, gold and black, absent landlord, with a very nice, you know, stylish looking old gentleman there. So yeah, let's crack it open and see what we have gotten. We're pouring it into my Lake of Bays tulip style glass. Gonna give it a nice little pour here, maybe just about that much, yeah, cool. Looking at that nice little pour, we got a very clear beer, good amount of carbonation coming through. Slightly, a uh, little bit of a small white head as well. Looking at that, very nice golden color. It looks super, super clear. A little bit of chill haze on the glass, but nothing too, too crazy. Let's give it a smell. Oh, what is that? I know it. It smells like a candy or something that I had when I was a kid. <clears throat> I can't put my finger on it. That's gonna bug me. I don't know. It smells like bananas and cloves all ish. Ish. Ask. Ish. Uh, malty. A little bit of grassiness. Oh man, that's really gonna bug me of what that what that smell is. Oh. It smells really good though. It smells nice. Let's have a sip. Get into it. Light malt. Light to medium malt. A little bit of sweetness of something. I want to say it's like a banana-y sweetness. Sort of. Um, very, very light body. A lot of carbonation in that first sip. That's a really big, powerful fizziness to it. It seems to overtake a bit of the initial flavors. But then it comes in with a nice sweet malt. Slightly yeasty, bready. Um, and then with a slight sweet banana-ish-ness uh, to it. Without further ado, let's keep on drinking and see what else we can find. Cheers, everybody. That's good. There is that artificial sweet banana, can't like a candy banana sort of thing, sort of flavor going on here. Very, very nice. Very light body beer. Definitely something uh, to get into if you're new to the craft beer scene. Kolschers are generally much lighter, which is nice, but this has that nice sweetness to it that really just, you know, it's 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 enjoyable. It's very enjoyable, something nice, something flavorful for you to enjoy when you want to grab a nice cold beer. Now let's move over to the yeah, let's move over to the can, see what it has to say for itself. Cowbell Brewing Company, absent landlord, country Kolsch. 5.3% alcohol by volume, 18 IBUs, 5.5 SRM, which is the color of the beer. Uh, description is, founded in 1855 as Drummond, the town was rem yeah, the town was renamed the same year after a wealthy landowner in Berkshire, England, bought the majority of the town, sight unseen. Henry Blythe-esque never made the ocean voyage to visit his namesake in Canada. He never made the voyage, but he bought it sight unseen. That's weird. That's weird. I find that a little disrespectful in a sense. Kind of an ass, but I don't know. I don't know the guy. I would just think, you know, you buy a plot of land, you make it a town, you na it's named after you, and you don't even visit it. Kind of an asshole move. Either way, it's all good beer. Um, this is part of their founder series. And they do have other information as well. Like I said, ABV, IBU, SRM, all that fun stuff. Um, they do have pairing notes on here. Soft cheese, grilled meats, and pastries. Tastings are elegant yellow fruits, floral, and lemongrass. Hmm. 
Um, no ingredients list, but that's all right. Any brewed on date? Yes, there is. This was brewed back in November 27th of last year, 2017. So it is definitely a bit, bit older, but has no signs to me of going bad. No bad smells, no bad taste. Just, just pure greatness. Very, very tasty. Moving over to the website now, cowbellbrewing.com. When you get over to their founder series and you go down to Absent Landlord, there is a little bit of a just different description here as well. Absent Landlord is our expression of a Kolsch style beer, brewed with a perfect combination of old world and new world ingredients, fermented warm and left honest. It's unfiltered and unpasteurized to let its elegant and delicious flavors stand proud. Uh, and then they do list also the ABV, IBU, SRM, and temperature, which you should serve it at, and that is actually three degrees. Also says that on the can, I just didn't mention it when I was reading it. Hmm. But yeah, other than that, um, is there more information that we can get? When you click the beer, oh yes, there is. Oh yes, there is. So you have good description there, all the beer specs, uh, pairings, tasting notes as well. You also have characteristics. The appearance, a golden body with a slight <laughs> golden body with a slight haze and white foam. Aroma is a florally, honey, lemongrass, and a touch of orange zest. Mouthfeel is smooth, elegant, refreshing creaminess with a clean finish. The key ingredients, the hops are Hollertour Herbux. Hollera 2, Herzbrucker, Perlay, and Wakatu. The malts are Floor Malted Pilsner Malt, Munich Malt, Torrified Wheat, Aromatic Malt, and Carafoam. And the yeast is a German Kolsch Ale Yeast. Lots of good information from all the key ingredients, appearances, mouthfeel, characteristics, stuff like that. The additions of the food pairings from the uh, and tasting notes from the actual can. Beautiful website looks great. You know, top notch, top notch website design. Finally, moving over to Untapped, as we always do. Absent Landlord has been given a 3.55 bottle caps out of 5. And that's out of just under 6,400 ratings. So a lot of people have been enjoying this beer. With that said, I almost said that. We can't yet because we haven't cheers on our final sip. So we're going to do that right now. Cheers, everybody, on the final sip. It's a good beer. It goes down smooth. Nice flavors. I'm getting that banana-y flavor, but they don't say there's banana in here. But that's sort of what I get. The smell is of a honey. That's what I was trying to figure out. I just couldn't. Remind me of some sort of candy or something that I had when I was a kid. Still have no idea what it is, but maybe after I drink the rest of this, it will come to me, but who knows, right? Yeah, very nice beer. Goes down smooth. Carbonation is a bit intense in the beginning. It sort of overtakes some flavors, but generally most of the flavors are still there and still nice and uh, nice and uh, lively in your, uh, in your mouth and on your taste buds. So, beer rating i gotta give this a solid i gotta give it a solid 8 out of 10 really nicely done would love to pick this up again and enjoy it when i'm looking for something a bit lighter in uh terms of flavor intensity moving over to presentation now looks great um not the biggest fan of their can design sort of thing just the, the blackness of it i wish it maybe stood out a bit more with that said it has a ton of information uh description ABV, IBU, SRM, temperature, tasting, and food pairing notes, beautiful, brewed on date, clearly labeled on the bottom. What more can you ask for? And you know what? You can, and the website delivers on that with the addition of different characteristics of the beer and also the malts, hops, and yeast that are in this beer are on the website for your information gathering pleasure. So that's awesome to see as well. Presentation. 9 out of 10 for me, just because I'm not a huge, huge fan of this, and there is no ingredients list on the can. But other than that, great information across the board. With all that said, before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all the information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like the video or subscribe to me, Mate Brewski, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. Finally, as for my question of the day, my question of the day to you is... 
Well, if you did the same thing like um, Henry, Bl uh, Henry Blythe did and bought a town many, 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 many years ago from across the nation, from across the world, sight unseen, would you do what he did and not never go see it? Or would you, you know, go and see what you actually purchased? Personally, I'd go see it. Hell yeah, why not? I mean, I bought it. Kind of want to know what it's going to be turned into, right? That's just me. Anyway, that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruski. And like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers.